Transposing chords with the capo is absolutely impossible, except for sliding the capo from fret to fret. Actually, the capo can't be bent, and it's just basically always going to be the fret. For instance, if you have an open E tuning, which is standard on most guitars, and you were to put that capo down on the first fret, you would have an F chord. If you moved it to the third fret, you would have a G chord. So basically, capo is only good as far as being at the at the fret you want to play on and what you're doing there is you're just basically keeping from having to bar your finger across the neck and i'm sorry to my wonderful friends that make cables uh the they'll know who i'm talking about they're wonderful people uh, but uh that is basically the answer on um, this instrument this is interesting uh, this one is another one that i can put this is one of sold i'm just getting it out the door but you can see the beautiful wood this is one that i can put actually a neck that's very nice the capo works on any guitar of course but on here the neck's going to be a straight neck or a tapered neck and capo works on both it works but uh, it would actually work better on a straight neck because a straight parallel string neck would be uh, more consistent to the paper to the capos round and and probably be a little better and so basically on this instrument i can put any neck i want up here i can put a straight neck flat neck and also in the pickups on this instrument i've occasioned before i've actually put a regular pickup here and I've put my hex pickups here. I can reverse those too, where the, the six pickups can be here or the, the six in a common pickup can be here. And what that does, that gives you a tremendous variety on a big jazz type instrument like this. And like, like I said, we're bas basically, uh, it, it's one that is very nice if you were to use a capo because it has tremendous sound cure up in the upper frets because of the tension free neck as you see there's a the rod that actually supports the neck the neck comes here this uh, this is just leaves a little cut you don't see here when you're done this is all a little different here but other than that the neck goes on the tension free the neck will uh, adjust in this area and you would then have an instrument which is really very, very nice for all kinds of uh, music. Because capos do have a tendency, like the fingers, like anything, when you get up in higher frets, to kind of not have the same quality of sound that you would get down in the lower end of the neck.